Hey guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Today we're all headed to Costco for a big grocery haul, so come along with us. Hi guys. We went to all the stores, and you know how much money we spent? <gasps> the Family Fudge, The Family Fudge. They are mostly sweet, but full of nuts. Now, it has been several weeks since our last big grocery haul, so we have quite a lot on our list today. We're gonna need to go to Costco, to Walmart, and to Trader Joe's. While we're at Costco, we're also hoping to look at some mattresses for the boys, because they're hopefully gonna be getting bunk beds soon. And speaking of house updates, when we get back home, I will show you a sneak peek of our kitchen renovation project. It's not quite done, but it's getting there. Lily, what's wrong with your boot? <laughs> what is wrong with this picture? <laughs> what are the rules, you guys? No screaming, no crying, no running away, no stealing stuff, no being over, no being weird. Are you ready to go? Uh-huh. Let's go. Burr is cold. Are you guys cold? Yeah. My veins are blowing. Okay, we found the mattresses. Let's see, we're gonna need two of the twin size. They're only 219, that's not too bad. What do you think, Jackson? Are you ready to get a bunk bed? Is Griffin ready? Do you, want, do you want to have a bunk bed? I want a bunk bed. I already have a bunk bed. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely like these mattresses. They're a pretty good price, but we're gonna have to bring the, his truck to get them, so. There's not that many left. We're gonna have to come back soon to get these. Okay guys, you ready to get the list done? Okay, Kenzie, can you get a Havarti cheese? And Jackson, you get a cheddar cheese? Thank you. Can you get some baby carrots? We're gonna need lots of carrots for our lunches. Yeah, that one. Can you get it? Maybe, maybe try this one. Get this one. Okay. And then put it in the cart. Good job. Yeah. Okay, Kenzie and Jackson, can you work together and get some toilet paper for us, please? Okay. Ooh, it's heavy. Oh, get it. <laughs> Not too bad? Nope. Good job. Thanks for helping. Okay, Lily, can you get the, all the paper towels? Oh, you're so strong. Can you put it in there? <laughs> Almost. Good try. <laughs> High five. Okay, Jackson, can you get some almond milk? Uh-oh, is it gonna fit? Oh, did it. Good job. How many times have you fallen over already? What? Ah, two times. You've fallen over two times. Yeah, because these boots. Your boots slippery? Let me see them. Do a twirl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> careful. This is why we have a no falling over rule. Okay, Griffin, can you get the Hawaiian rolls? Go get the Hawaiian rolls. Yay, high five. Good job. Somebody you did it. Okay, hold my hand. Thank you. Okay, we got everything we needed at Costco. Now we gotta stop at Walmart and Trader Joe's and then we'll head back home. So Lily, did you have fun shopping? Yeah! Do you know how long we were gone? Like, all, like all day? We were gone five hours. We went to all the stores and you know how much money we spent? How much? About $500. <gasps> Yeah, but we did have to buy a lot of things that we don't normally buy or don't buy very often. And I bought enough stuff to make four weeks worth of lunches. That's a lot of lunch stuff. We also have some miscellaneous items in there, lots of Valentine's things in there. What's your favorite thing? Um, it is the raspberries. The raspberries, yes. I got the last container of raspberries. So I'll go ahead and show you everything that I got. You know, this actually isn't everything because I couldn't, I didn't have space for the stuff from Trader Joe's. So I'll show you everything from Costco and from Walmart, and then I can show you Trader Joe's. Let's do it! 
Okay, friends, so I'm going to start with the things from Costco first. Now, we didn't end up buying the boys' mattresses today. If we did, that would have been an extra $500, and we just... We're looking today. Although we did get the bedding and I'll show you that later. So from Costco, we got some bath tissue, some paper towels. We got a new box of these snapware. I love these things. They're actually glass and we use these all the time, but the ones that we have are sadly starting to crack. The lids aren't very tight anymore, so I wanted to replace those. And then I also got a car battery. We get just about everything from Costco. My car wouldn't start the other day, and so that's not good. We definitely needed to get a new one. Oh yes, and you guys stay tuned towards the end and I'll show you the kitchen update. I know a lot of you have been asking what's up with the kitchen, and so it's not quite done, but I'm gonna show you what we've done so far. Now back to the haul. We picked up some milk. This is just two gallons of the 2% milk. We got lots of cheese for lunches, including a string cheese, slices of Havarti, and slices of cheddar. And we got lots of chicken too. I got a whole chicken for tonight's dinner. I got some chicken thighs for a yummy recipe I'm going to share with you guys in the future. We got lots of deli meat for sandwiches, for lunches, turkey ham, and a different kind of turkey. We also got some baby bell cheese. Griffin is still loving these, so this whole bag will probably last him like a month. Yeah, these stay good for a long time. We got a lovely pineapple. And then we got some seafood soup. Now, I have to say I'm not a huge seafood fan. In fact, you guys, I've never ever had clam chowder, like ever. But in our last trip to Disneyland, I tried some lobster soup and it was really, really good. So I thought we could give this a try. It was, it's on sale right now, so it wasn't too bad. I think it was like $6 for the, for the two tubs of soup. And then this clam chowder is actually gonna be in a lunch video where we're making the lunch of another pretty famous YouTube family. So I can't wait to share that week of lunches with you. Now I did end up getting quite a lot of fruits and veggies from Trader Joe's this time, but I did go ahead and get some cucumbers from Costco and this big bag of carrots. You just cannot beat the price on this. I think it was like $4.99 for a huge bag. We also got some of this Better Than Bouillon beef broth base and the Better Than Bouillon chicken broth base. These are so good, they last a long time and I add them into all kinds of recipes. And then I also got some of these, which, I don't buy very often. I got a big bottle of the Smarty Pants Kids Gummy Vitamins. This is a really good um, multivitamin that all the kids really like the flavor of. And then they were sampling these ones. These are the probiotic gummies. And these are for ages three and up. We haven't been sick for a long time, so I'm super thankful for that. And I'm hoping that this will help keep us from getting sick. And then I also picked up this new Amino Energy Drink Powder. Um, they were sampling this while you're there. This is definitely not for the kids, just for the adults. It's like a little energy boost um, drink. So I'm excited to give this a try. Back over here, I almost forgot to show you the baby wipes. We are coming to the end of the diaper season in this house, so I'm super excited for Griffin to start potty training and so we won't have to buy diapers and wipes for much longer. Up over here, I got a twin pack of the Hawaiian rolls. These are so good. I'm gonna be using one for a recipe this week and then I'll actually stick the other one in the freezer for a later time. We also got a big bunch of bananas. I got my traditional box of almond milk. I buy this just about every time I go to Costco. And then I'm super excited to give this a try. This is coconut rice pudding. So this is a dairy-free, gluten-free pudding treat. I love coconut and I love rice pudding, so I'm excited to give this a try. It says you can have it hot or cold. Next, I also got a big variety pack of the Annie's mac and cheese. This is on coupon right now, and I think I've seen this in just about everybody's Costco haul recently. This mac and cheese is actually really good, and right now this is a super good deal at Costco. Okay guys, so that's everything from Costco. We'll most likely go back and get the mattresses later this week or maybe next week. So now I can show you everything from Walmart and then Trader Joe's. So I'll go ahead and start over here with the new bedding for the boys' room. I got two of the same since they're gonna be having bunk beds. This whole bed in a bag was only $25. It comes with the blanket, pillowcases, and the sheet. So that's a pretty good deal. 
And these are the exact same blankets my friend Fallon over at Moss Family TV bought and I really liked them so I think they'll be perfect in the boys room. Now like I said I picked up a lot of things for lunches for like four weeks worth of lunches. So I'll go ahead and show you all the things I got for Valentine's Day first. Starting with the Valentine's Day Capri Suns. Now my kids don't have Capri Suns every day, um, just once in a while, but I really thought these ones were cute because of the little Valentine's decor on the outside. You can actually write a name on there and give them out as Valentine's. I also got this super cute Rice crispy Heart Kit. They've had a lot of these over the holidays recently. There was a shamrock one, there was a Christmas tree one, and they, woo, they are so quick and easy and they're not that expensive. So I love that it comes with everything you need and it just makes a few. Also for Valentine's Day, I picked up some of these veggie chips and these ones are super cute. I don't know if you can tell, but there's little heart shapes in there. And these are also in little individual bags where you can write your Valentine's name and hand them out instead of candy. Back over here, I also got the Valentine's Day pretzels. These are also really cute. I bought these last year. I love the X and the O shape. And these also have the little uh, name area on the outside. And then way back here, if I can reach, I also got the Valentine's Day Cheez-Its. Now I really like that these are in individual packages so I can keep them in my pantry for a long time. Just quickly grab them and throw them into lunches when I need them. These are definitely going into Valentine's Day lunches, but they'll stay good for longer than that. So those were the things going into Valentine's Day lunches. I also got lots of other things for lunches, including Rice Krispies. Those are going into a special treat. I also got the Mickey Mouse waffles. These are gonna be in one of my subscriber lunch videos. Also going into subscriber lunches, I got some special fruit gushers, some gummy bears, and some Fiber One bars. Then for one of my subscriber lunches, I was planning on making little pigs in a blanket, but they were all out of crescent doughs. So I'm hoping that this pizza crust will work just as well. And then also for lunches, we got some raspberries, some strawberries, a little jar of Nutella. That's going into a special Valentine's Day lunch. We got some of these pretzel goldfish. I'm not sure that I ever purchased these before. They should be good though. I also got these really interesting looking Italian crackers followed by some authentic Italian pasta. I'm hoping to make some Olive Garden copycat minestrone soup with this. I also got some of these delicious looking European cookies. Again, these are going into a subscriber lunch and these have lots of different kinds in there. I think those ones with the music notes are so cute. I also picked up some ready to bake cookie dough in the peanut butter chalk flavor. Hiding back over here, I have a bag of the mini bagels. These are also going into a lunch where I'm gonna be making some mini bagel pizzas. And then I think pretty much everything else is for some dinners this week and next week, including lots Lots of different cans of things. I got several cans of diced tomatoes, several cans of beans. This is an interesting can though because there's kidney beans, pinto beans, and black beans all together. I got some navy beans, some just, ooh, <laughs> some just kidney beans, some green beans, and finally some of these diced tomatoes with green chili. I like to use this in my taco soup to make it nice and spicy. From Walmart, I just got a few veggies, including some baby spinach, some broccoli florets, and some lettuce. I also got a big bag of rice. We don't use rice super often, but when I, when I buy rice, I like this kind. This is a Japanese style uh, sticky rice. And I also got a big bag of flour, which is definitely not something that I use very often either. I just don't do a lot of baking these days, but I have a chicken and dumpling recipe I'm hoping to share with you, so that's why I got that. Moving over here, I picked up a package of the turkey pepperoni for our pizza bagels, and then I also got some frozen veggies. This is going into some Chinese fried rice I'm hoping to make, and then this corn is gonna go into my taco soup. So that is everything from Walmart. Now I can go ahead and put some of these things away and then I'll have room to show you what I got from Trader Joe's. Okay, so it's not the hugest Trader Joe's haul, but we did pick up lots of things that we know we love and some new things to try, including 
these honey hedgehog cookies. Those look so cute, and they're actually in individual packages in here, so they're perfect to throw into lunches. Look how cute. I also picked up some of these Cara Cara oranges. If you've never had these before, they're really good, and they're naturally pink inside. So to me, they taste like a cross between an orange and a grapefruit, but they're still really sweet. So yeah, these are super good oranges. I also got some chocolate chips, some pie crusts. I've never tried the Trader Joe's brand of pie crust, so hopefully these will be good. I got some of these yogurt tubes, and these are perfect for Valentine's Day. They're nice and pink and red. Got some celery, some organic ground turkey. This is gonna go into the taco soup I'm making. I got two bags of this mandarin orange chicken. I'd love to have this on hand, you know, in the freezer for a quick dinner. I got some zucchini, some of this strawberry yogurt cereal. Never tried this before, but it's nice and pink for Valentine's Day. Over here, I got a small bag of potatoes, a small bag of onions, and three bags of lemons. But, unfortunately, that one is not looking so good, and I totally didn't notice. Next, I picked up two different kinds of chopped salad. This one is the Southwestern. It's got like a spicy avocado and cilantro dressing. And then this one's new, I've never had this one before. This is the yellow curry one, and there's ginger and lime and cashews with non-bread chips. That sounds really good. And check these out, you guys. These are new at Trader Joe's. They are candy-coated chocolate peanuts. So basically, Trader Joe's version of M&M's. Now, I've already had some. I have to say they are really good. And then last but not least, some yogurt drinks. And I got the strawberry ones for Valentine's Day. And now for a quick kitchen update. I've had a lot of you ask how the renovation is going, and it's going well. It's very slow, because we are doing most of it ourselves. And by, by ourselves, I mean mostly my husband. He did paint all the cabinets, and then we got the new appliances from Costco a few weeks ago. We had a company come and install the granite, and the undermount sink, and I'm loving that so far. But as you can tell, we don't have a backsplash yet, and we're still trying to decide on what paint color we wanna use. We've tried one, two, three, four different shades of gray, and I think we're probably gonna go with this one. And like I said, we're still trying to decide on what we wanna do with the backsplash. So when the granite was installed, the guys also <laughs> installed this little piece right here, which I'm not a super fan of, so we're actually gonna remove that before we add the backsplash. You can see on this side, we went ahead and removed that already so that the backsplash can go from the countertop all the way under the cabinets, and I think that's gonna look a lot better. But we still have to decide <laughs> what tile is gonna go there. So choice number one is this Alaskan gray stacked stone. I really like the texture of it and the color of it. We also picked up this other color of stack stone, which I definitely do not like. It's way too brown when the countertop is very gray, so we definitely don't wanna go with that one. And then another choice that I really like is the traditional subway tile look. Um, we're not sure if we wanna go with the bigger tiles or the smaller tiles, but I do like that classic clean look. So we might choose that one, I'm not sure yet. So stay tuned for another kitchen update. Hopefully we'll get the tile done, we'll get the paint done, and then we also need to replace the floor. We have a few cracked tiles there, and then that's pretty much it. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time.